Nairobi Anti-Corruption Court has convicted former Samburu Governor Moses Lenol Kulal alongside 10 others in connection to the Oryx filling station scandal. Lenol Kulal, who is the proprietor of the station, was found guilty of conflict of interest and abuse of office for supplying petroleum products to the Samburu County government during his term. In a historic moment in Kenya's fight against corruption, Nairobi Anti-Corruption Court has found former Samburu Governor Moses Lenol Kulal guilty of receiving 83 million shillings in corrupt payments for supplying petroleum products to the county government. The trial revealed that Lenol Kulal used his position to benefit financially from his own company, Oryx Filing Station. I find that the process not prove the element of proper use of office and the mens rea for the charge of abuse of office. Conflict of interest was committed with the full knowledge by the first accused person. The foregoing evaluation of the evidence leads to an inevitable conclusion that there is overwhelming and direct evidence that the governor acted in conflict of interest and acquired direct personal benefits in the contract for supply of fuel. Trial Magistrate Thomas Zioki, while delivering the verdict, noted that the evidence, which included over 200 payment vouchers and invoices, clearly demonstrated Lenol Kula's conflict of interest. Zioki emphasized the need for public officers to adhere to principles of good governance, stating that a governor is prohibited by law from trading with their county government. The county government of Samburu has confirmed that no man was lost with respect to the impugned tender awarded to Oryx Service Station for supply of wealth to the said county. The county government of Samburu has equal confirmed that they got value for money following their, aid, their request for supply of wealth from Oryx Service Station in accordance with the impugned tender. Avament number seven. That upon review of the apply of the supply public prosecution found and be necessary the defense. And having considered the submission by all the parties. Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission spokesperson Eric Gumbi has said the verdict term I mean it as a significant milestone. Gumbi highlighted that this is the first corruption case of a criminal nature involving a governor to reach a logical conclusion despite early attempts by the Director of Public Prosecution to withdraw it. Gumbi also mentioned that the funds paid to Lenol Kula's company have been successfully recovered through a separate civil suit filed by the EACC. Facing this kind of cases involving conflict of interest, which cases are at, a, at a various stages in the criminal justice system. We have some that are under investigations by the ESCC. Those involving uh, two governors have just been completed and the files are on their way to the DPP recommending prosecution. See, sends a warning to public officials that are engaging in a conflict of interest at the county government and the national government to know that their day in court will come. Some may ask uh, why this case has taken around uh, five years. It is because of the institutional capacity that is available within the criminal justice sector. Following the verdict, the prosecution successfully argued for the cancellation of the convict's bond terms. Lenal Kula's sentencing is scheduled for tomorrow with this ruling, setting a precedent for future cases and underscoring the accountability of public officers in Kenya. Brenda Nyongesa, KUTV.